we're here today at Happy Dog Grooming Salon, and I have Laura here. She owns Happy Dog, and um, we're going to talk a little bit about grooming, because that's one thing I don't know very much about. So I figured, you know what, let's go to the expert, and she's the groomer. So we're going to talk a little bit about um, grooming and why it's important for your dog. So first of all, why should we have, why should we groom our dogs? Why, what, what do they need? If you have a low shed dog that's not a groomed dog, the reasons why we bathe and groom them is that the amount of hair that they're losing, the amount of dander and dirt on their skin, is all health related as far as our house, house goes. We leave them in our house all the time with us. Yes. We're breathing all of the dead skin scales on them. They really do need to be cleaned up and refreshed and get a good bath. It helps for skin allergies. It helps for shedding. If you have a heavy shedder like a lab or a husky, we have a, a fermentator process that takes a lot of that hair out right here. Leaves yeah. it here for you. Too. So it's a health issue. It's a, really. it is it's a health, health issue, issue for them and for you and for us because I can tell you, having four dogs in my house, it's a it's a mess right. all the time. And if you have a groom dog, which we call a groom dog, there dogs like the dog behind us is getting a trim up, or the new breeds cockapoos, um, golden doodles, labadoodles, all of those need a haircut. They get matted. Um, they either need to be brushed out and, or they need to be short. Yeah, yeah. As we were talking earlier, you know, I mentioned I have labs, and I never ever considered bringing them to the groomer because they're, like literally when they get muddy, I just brush the mud out. Right. They're really easy keepers, but hearing all the things about, you know, the shedding and the, the dander and the oils that build up that shouldn't be there. I mean, labs have this natural oil right. that, that they need, but but there's a lot of other stuff junk in there that they don't need and that shouldn't be in there. And they should be, and the coat is so much brighter and cleaner. And yeah, exactly. And so um, so you'll be seeing my dogs up here soon because yeah, uh, cause I didn't go. know that. <laughs> And we're going to take a shot in the back, too, because I really like um, sort of the way that, that you get your dogs in the tub and the way that they're, um, it's a really, like, low-stress environment. And when I think of grooming and, um, you know, for, for a lot of dogs and for a lot of places, it's not necessarily low-stress, but I love that your place is definitely low-stress. And as we take a tour through here, you get to sort of see how they make it low stress and why that's so good. Um, but one more thing I wanted to talk about before we take the tour is... Um, Talk about dog nails because uh, everybody says, oh, I just hate to do it, and oh, my dog hates me to do it. It's important it, for a few reasons. Um, structurally, when the dog's nails are not short enough and they are they are touching the ground, I always say if your dog's nails can click on the floor, they need to be groomed. And there's a reason why, too, when they get super long, if you look at our joints, it would be like taking this joint and bending it up as the nail grows long, and it actually causes a deformity in the foot, and it, and it causes arthritis in their feet. It's very uncomfortable, it's very painful for them to walk on that, plus they slip on the floors. So we just recommend that you keep them short. We, they also have what's called a quick yeah. in them. It's a blood vessel. If you let the nail grow, the blood vessel grows too, which yes. causes us not to be able to cut them as short or grind them as short. So what we recommend in that case is that you bring them in every week. We grind the nail down as much as we can to get to the quick, and then after that we um, bring them in and, and it gets further and further back. That was my question because my guys, all of my guys' nails are touching the floor, and I know they shouldn't. Right. So, just successive grooming right. shots, and we'll be good. We to can go. do it every week for a little bit, and then good. after that we'll just okay, uh, good. bring you up every month or every six weeks. Excellent. All right, let's take the tour. Okay. One. All right, we're now back in the bathing area, which is where all the dogs get their baths. And um, I thought a really good question is, what should people look for? So, if you're not in, in this area, if you're not in the Mount Airy, Frederick, Damascus area, what should People that live out, out out of town, what should they be looking for in groomers near them? Um, our experience here is that we try to create a less stressful grooming experience for the dogs. Um, we are very open about where all of our areas are. We don't hide anything. That's why you see glass from the front to the back. Yeah. Um, and anybody that's a new client that comes in, we give them a tour. We want them to see our facilities. We want them to explain about back. all the things that go on back here so that there's no unknown areas for them. Um, I think. It's concerning if you want to go into a salon and you say, can I see your facility? And they say, no. You just need to either ask why, kind of get a feel for the place. If you understand, you know, why are they acting like they're acting? If they're hiding something, I would not recommend using them, to be honest with you. Right. Yeah, for sure. And that's that's one of the things I loved, you know, as we, as we sort of walk back from the front to the, to the bathing area. Every dog here seems to have their own space. Mm -hmm. And what I especially love is it kind of looks like home. Like, this is not an industrial no. grooming salon. Right. This is, I saw easy chairs. Yes. I saw, you know, um, hangings on the, you know, so when they get, after they get bathed and dried, then they can go hang out just for an hour, maybe, mm -hmm. until their owner gets here. So they're not here very long, right. which keeps everything low stress, right. which I love. Um, and, you tr you know, not many kennels. I mean, they're, they're either with somebody at the front desk 
they have their own little room with a couch or you know with a chair and end tables and pictures on the wall oh, just like a regular just like because we're trying to create more like a home feel yeah so that they're not feeling like they're kenneled and they're stressed all day right the other thing is we don't keep them all day we only keep them an hour or two maybe three at the most just as long as it days. takes to get the job and done and then they can go home. home exactly and so yeah. we do have kennel areas they are used for little dogs a lot of the little dogs like to see it You'll see if when uh, you get a picture of that yeah. right behind the camera um, they like to be there. They like to see what's going on. It's yeah. all glass. They get to see what's going on, and, and they feel comfortable in there. And then, um, otherwise, they're not here very long at all. Right. Just they're in, they're out, get the job done, and then they're out of here. So it lowers the stress of just being in a different environment. Even as much as you try to keep everything homey, it's still yes. different. And, and so different. For it's not home, and they're not with mom and dad. For those dogs, it's it's a nice um, sort of alternative to the like say the, the big box grooming where. They're almost like a number. Okay, here's your next dog. Exactly. Okay, yeah. good. Put them in the kennel to you know right. till the end of the day. Okay, good. Here's your next dog. So it's it's not doesn't exactly. seem to be like an assembly line yes. at all. It seems to be very personal and, and personalized, which I love. And so I yeah, if people can find that you know where where they live, I think that'd be perfect. Exactly. That's great. Good. Well, thank you for all the information. Um, grooming is not my forte, and I know that everybody who has a dog. They need, to have they, need, they need to have grooming done. So train and groom, groom and train. Okay. Exactly. Uh, so thank you very much You're for so for um, for letting us come in here and just kind of invade your space. Uh, for more fast, fun, and easy dog training ideas like this and more, uh, visit SmartDogUniversity.com and don't forget to click on subscribe so you can see the next video in our series. And please leave a comment below.